<laughs> Tiga Trash for Vanilla Ice inspired song. It's it's Tiga. <laughs> yeah. Nah, I'm sorry. Know. I know I know you don't know who, who these junkers <laughs> are. You know who Vanilla is. You don't know who this other dude is. Man. But yeah. you know what the funny thing is about this, man? I laughed for like two seconds and I realized it this is going to be a hit. It is. It's yep. going to be a fucking hit. You know why? Because we don't like it. That shit kind of fly to me. I was looking at this bit. I put it on like. Rock on me, baby. Baby, baby, baby. I got the ops going crazy. I got the ops going crazy. I stop. Listen. Hip got a western. Tell me that shit ain't riding. <sighs> it ain't he, need riding. To, he need to get ice on the remix, though. I'm pretty sure once a bubble, it, it is. I think he got uh, Nicki Minaj and somebody else on there. Yep. Like I said, this shit is going it's to gonna, take it's, off. It's going to put put ice on that motherfucker. Watch what happened. It's going. He should not get go hang him out the window now. Put nah, ice on. Him. Nah, I'm sure for the remix and once it hits the charts and yep. do what it's supposed to do, it's Vanilla Ice is coming. Oh hey, God, Vanilla Ice had to kick out a lot of money originally for sampling the shit out of this song, right? Mm-hmm. He got sued. Mm-hmm. Because he tried to say that they they redid it. They didn't actually take the sample, and he was like trying to distinguish the the the, the baseline or whatever. And they was like, "Dude, it's the same fucking song. Stop, y'all just redid it on your own or whatever." But see, yeah, he ended up you're not listening it. to it right. It goes ding 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 ding. See, see right. that part. That's that what part. he was trying to do. <laughs> <laughs> Remember that? And they was like, "No," because that was Queen hey, shit, wasn't it? Uh, <laughs> under pressure. Uh, yeah, sure. yeah, that was Queen. Is that Queen? Okay. Mm-hmm. But yeah. And then uh, Suge and his people came and said, uh, yeah, my man produced that. He was like, no, he didn't. And he gave him not look like, but he did. He was like, he did. Here you go. Yep. Welcome to Death Row. So, but now Tiger is doing his thing, man. That's why I know it's going to because I can't stand this shit. That's why I know it's going to bubble. I'm fucking with <laughs> <laughs> That's gonna be my new ringtone. Oh man, what you think, man? Did I you think like it's this? gonna be hot. I think it's gonna be hot. I mean, like the song was the song would have been the shit if it wasn't Vanilla Ice. You know what I mean? If it wasn't the it had to be of rap. That it had to be him. It. it had to be him at that time. You know, he was the Eminem of our time. Not as far as sorry, no disrespect to Eminem, as, but as far as that white rapper man. who broke who broke through. I'll, I'll leave it at that. Not lyrics. I'm just saying there's one who broke through that everybody who knows. And that one that they all want to, you know, the white savior. The one that they want to win in that space. I ain't going to front and lie. I used to uh, fuck with Vanilla Ice. And I'm going to tell you why. You should lie in front. You should. <laughs> <laughs> you're on the record, son. You're on the record. Go ahead, man. No, Explain cool. yourself. Explain what yourself. Year did, what year did that song come out? What, 90? Uh, 90? I was 10 years old. And there you, you knew better. <laughs> you didn't have you on fucking diapers. Knew, but no, you didn't have on diapers, so you knew Let better. You Let me tell you something. I did <laughs> have tell. on diapers, nigga. Listen. <laughs> These was cloth diapers. Listen. Oh, man. Go ahead, man. I really... It was silk. <laughs> it Go was, ahead. It's a lot of shit that I didn't know about. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Back then. Got to remember, it was just me and my mom. Mm-hmm. I never got into sports except for boxing because she watched it. My grandfather boxed my uncle box. My uncle is in the hip hop, but when that motherfucker went to jail. So in the mornings when my mother wake would wake up, all I was here was motherfucking Paula Abdul. Instead of sports, I was watching goddamn soap operas and the Golden Girls and shit like that. You know what I mean? When I heard him, I was a big MC Hammer fan. And remember, the big one of the big things about him, besides, you know, being lying about being from the hood, was that he was appropriating MC Hammer shit. Yeah, he, yeah, yeah, the pants, the style, the dance yeah. moves, all of that. Yeah. So I thought this shit was dope. Not only that, y'all gonna think I'm corny. Fuck everybody listening who think that 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 that, that shit he had on the Ninja Turtle Secret of the Ooze, <laughs> Ninja, Ninja, <laughs> rap, rap, Ninja, Ninja. That shit was man. I just watched that movie not too long ago. Man, that was my shit. I looked it up on YouTube. That Ninja rap shit was hard. Then the motherfucker had a movie out. I think it was called Cool as Ice. I was a big motherfucking Vanilla Ice fan. And then I, you know, got a little older. Started listening yeah. to uh, uh, DOS Effects and shit. There you go. You, you came back around. Yeah, you came back I around. did. You, you realized what that was. And it was entertainment. You know, we had, you know, different different genres ahead, of, of hip-hop. Ahead. Go yeah. ahead. Watch this. Watch this. <laughs> go ahead and get me. I, I feel like said. I don't even fucking know you anymore. <laughs> <laughs> 
he sat there and let you speak, man. And now he realizing, like, and I let you into my circle. <laughs> <laughs> and this I is what drink you, with this motherfucker. Yeah, I gave and, to read. And this is how you do me. <laughs> you should have. You should have died there. No. I, <laughs> wow. God. <laughs> Time out, man. Nah, hell no. Nah. <laughs> Look, man, all all jokes aside, man, we understood. <laughs> you said you was 10 when this dude came out. You was in, you know, a, a, a child just influenced you yeah. know, by, you know, the, the Iceman. And uh, yeah, as soon as I saw him, you know, my recollection was like, again, I thought it was disrespectful to Hammer. You know, I was like, what the fuck are you doing? You know, didn't no, no, no. Like I said, the the only people I want to see dancing was Hammer and Kid and Play. Yeah, you know, and, and, not yeah. this dude. Come on, and, man. And and um, was 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 New Edition because them motherfuckers. Let me tell mm-hmm. you something. Just like he took from Hammer, In Sync, Backstreet Boys, yeah. they all took that shit from uh New Edition. Don't forget New Kids started with New, new kids. kids. New Kids started with New Kids. It was all. It was the white version. They was all from Boston. It's the white version. It was all from right. And so, yeah. you know, for me. You got you to gotta understand, when I finally discovered, like, hip-hop, it was like, I was like, what the fuck am I listening to? <laughs> this shit is beautiful, man. Yeah. You know, because, yeah. you know, and then two, 10 years old, my mother regulated a lot of shit I listened to. There you go. And then, you know, it. then when, when, then to be honest, when I hit a certain age, my mother bought me Ready to Die. Okay. You know what I'm saying? My mother bought me Ready to Die, and she bought me, um, I want to say, There is a Dark Side. Oh, right, that man. was a killer album. Yeah, yeah. Man, what was, was that? Uh, yeah. uh, funky, like uh, uh, was it was uh, like Bruce Lee riding the Fuji, Fuji in, the movie, in the movie. Drop it on the one, fuck the two, three. Yeah. yeah. Um, she bought me that shit, and then my pops, he got me. Uh, no, she got me the Thug Life album too. My pops was giving me all the West Coast shit. So, um, yeah, man. You know, when you, you know, a lot of times, man, we look. Oh, man, you don't know that. You know, this the, my whole family over here. These motherfuckers are sports. I'll be sitting off in the corner when they be talking sports. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, these yeah. motherfuckers be arguing football. They act like I ain't even in the room no more. Like, he all right. You know, he, he good to my you mom. Were on, you were only adjusted yeah. to what you yeah. were exposed to. Right. I mean, like you said, if you had a parent who regulated your shit, then yeah, this is what you, you got what she bought you. Right. You, you know, know? Just, like, just like the clothes. You know, um, that's how that shit went down back then. But oh. again, once we had Rap City... Yo MTV raps, mm-hmm. you know, that was that was I was more committed to that than anything. School, going outside, anything. I was for yeah. those two hours for fucking Rap City, man, I was glued. I could go to the West Coast, I could go down south with the ghetto boys, I could go, you know, Midwest, you know, East Coast, everywhere. For, for those see, two hours, I was locked in. Yeah. That's the other thing. We didn't have cable for years, man. Mm. And he, you know what I'm saying? We didn't have cable. For, so I ain't no shit about Rap City. I ain't no shit about your own TV raps. Yeah. But when I did catch that shit, yeah. you know what I'm saying? Snoop, that bug. Method, man. Yeah. yeah. You know, a lot of people, like I'm pretty sure y'all brothers, you know, was, was you, listen, y'all knew about the Run DMCs and oh, yeah. UTFO and all of this shit back in the day. You know, I came in doing the Red Man. So I was like, oh shit. You know, that 90s era. That so you had the 90s era. We had the oh. golden age. Like the like my first rap album was uh It Takes a It Takes a Nation, Public Enemy. Public Enemy. It takes a Nation, Hold Us Back, and then uh Fat Boys Crushing. Mm-hmm. Yeah, uh, Heavy D's Big Time. Uh, yep. shit. Uh Lottie. Biz, Biz Markey, Big Daddy Kane. Yeah. Uh, you know, all those cats, man. Now I knew the fat boys. Yeah. I used to walk around fat boys. You know, huh, huh, trying to do that, that shit was the yeah. shit. If yes, you, I lived. I could say I've seen them live, and trust oh, me, man. my God, when Buff, I don't know if they adjusted his amp on his fucking microphone, but when he beatbox, man, I swear to God, my fucking socks fell down to my ankles. It shook the fucking building. It was that fucking hard. I was like, no wonder they made him essential to the group for what he was doing. Because when you hear it on a video, it's like, it's one thing. But when he's on a microphone, dude, forget about it. Rest in peace, Puff. I already know know what you're talking about. In 2010, I had the opportunity at the American Black Film Festival. I didn't get to see him. It was too many people standing in front of me. But Dougie Fresh did a live performance. That Mm. motherfucker is the world's greatest entertainer. Once he hit that beatbox and all that... Yeah. Yeah. Man, that motherfucker was getting it. I saw men, men, lady at the house. We went to go see the roots and Rozelle. 
It was uh, like the intermission. Roz. Come on, man. <laughs> Rozelle. Rozelle is a fucking yeah. beast. And I'll just leave it at that. Yeah, man. man. Rozelle, he, he, he held it down. But go back to my man Buff to hear him do it. And I was just like, it made you fall in love with hip hop. I was just like, because there was, it was him. No mm. instruments. He was the instrument. And right. he, man, he was killing it. But, you know, that was, you know, I don't want to uh, date myself. But yeah, that was a, that was a minute ago, man. What, what, Love that. Y'all remember, real quick so we can move on, but y'all remember when in Living Color, I think that's the first time I thought that that, that Vanilla Ice was corny, was when they got him on in oh, Living Color. Oh my, Jim Carrey. Jim Carrey. Yeah. Jim fucking Carrey. White, white. <laughs> <laughs> he had on hot tops. <laughs> but he was Him, moving He had like... hammer pants and high tops and that fucking hair. <laughs> <laughs> Jim Carrey, the most underrated motherfucker. <laughs> He nailed that skit, man. Word to your mother. <laughs> right. <laughs> so fuck his facial expressions, man. It was everything. It was everything. This generation don't know, man. That motherfucking Jim Carrey. Was and Living fool. Color had all the talent, man. And Jim That's was it. that cat, man. That's it, man. Oh, That's shit. it. <laughs> you said when I found out he was really corny. <laughs> yeah, I was like, because you remember in Living Color, man, if they thought you was corny, you was getting made fun of. Dude, it didn't. Him, uh, Millie Vanilli, uh, Mike Tyson, or oh, Hall. They, they got Michael everybody. Jackson, I think, yep. yeah, I think it was a badge of honor, man. If you made it, yeah, if they made fun of you, man, you made it. That's yeah. how I looked at it, man. You yeah, it. hey, oh, did you guys man. uh, fuck with um, uh, what was that other show? It was Mad TV, same. Mad TV, yeah. yeah. I didn't really Matt get TV. into yeah, it, man. I was with a uh, old dude, the black dude who does up. Uh, Ari Spears. Aries. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. Who's the a genius in his own right? Yeah. Who's that, that, who's that one white dude who did? Uh, I couldn't <laughs> stop watching the one. The dude who did uh, Steven Seagal. Every other scene, he was snapping somebody's neck. He was just talking <laughs> yeah. to him. He was like, "Hey." Eh, <laughs> <"Ditch." laughs> when that motherf- I'm gonna tell you, when that motherfucker Ari Spears did the party all the time. Oh my he, god. <laughs> He was Rick. Oh, <laughs> <He> was- <laughs> yeah, yeah. Oh man, this generation, man. Don't hey man, know. it's Don't sad. Know. Y'all motherfuckers is so sensitive, man. Because <laughs> if comedy was allowed to be comedy. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? You couldn't you do a reboot. You couldn't do a reboot of In Living Color or something like nah. that because it'd be too offensive. And it'd they tried it. Yeah, yeah. You couldn't do it. They tried it, man. You, I mean, could you imagine a Sam Kennison today? Mm. No, no. <laughs> yeah. All right, man. What? Well, yeah, let's man. Keep moving, man. I'm feeling the tag and shit. Uh, I'm probably the only one. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you gonna make it through the rest of this podcast? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I got you, baby. Fuck it. I'm That's... going to bed, man. Y'all... <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'm woke today. I took I'm a, a nap. I'm gonna roll over and just <laughs> lay, you're just dead in the back. I'm just, I'm gonna just lay down on this bed. No, you y'all watch me say podcast on your back like big pun. <laughs> <laughs> you said what? Like big pun, man. You could have did the shit on your on your side, on your left side. How you? Do is roll that mic over, man. You was good. <laughs> he was like, "All right, y'all, I'm out. I'm going to bed." <laughs> like, Where the right, fuck dude. did they get a scooter that big for pun? Remember in that video, he was sitting on that yeah. scooter. Yeah, he was yeah. Like, we got to reinforce the shocks on this bitch. Fucking Walmart. He was leaning against shit. Right? And then, and then, and then, yeah, That's my guy. Rest in peace. Rest yeah. in peace. Capital punishment, man. Yep. Classic album. All right, man. What we got next? What we got next? Oh, oh 